I'm releasing this word at the request of the Lord. It is uh, February 11th, 2024. And I'm just going to title this message, Is Biden About to Pass Away? And this is what the Lord gave me to say. God's people must repent. Judgment is coming, but so is freedom for those who turn to God. Yesterday on the 10th of February, the Lord showed me a fountain. Then he said, broken cisterns. Then I was led to Jeremiah 2.13 and he said, tell my people. Jeremiah 2.13 says, for my people have committed two evils. They have abandoned, rejected me, the fountain of living water, and they have carved out their own cisterns, broken cisterns that that cannot hold water. Then he said, tomorrow marks Zechariah 1. Tell my people, tell them they must repent and return to me. Zechariah 1 is a call to return to the Lord. Please go read it for yourself. And it also is a judgment against the horns that scattered his people and how he's going to strike them down. Something bad is coming, but it's a part of God's plan in throwing down and further exposing evil world leaders who oppress the people of God. Zechariah 1.21 says, I asked, what are these coming to do? He answered, these are the horns that scattered Judah so that no one could raise their head, but the craftsmen have come to terrify them and throw down these horns of the nations who lifted up their horns against the land of Judah to scatter its people. God is preparing us now for what's to come. Something big. Could it be the takedown of the shadow government and their current leader? Then will we see why it will not be like Big Brothers 1984? And Because of this, because of the Lord's intervention, will we be able to lift our head high as God throws down the horns who scatters his people, according to Zechariah 1? Are they trying to use the Super Bowl ritual as a ritualistic sacrifice to stop God from throwing down their horns so they can move forward with their new world order? Are they trying to use the Super Bowl win and the worship of the Super Bowl um, and and of the, the gathering of the people to stop God from throwing down Big Brother and pushing back their one world government? We must pray that their rituals today do not succeed and for the evil horns to be thrown down. We know that many are ignorant to these kind of uh, big events that they do and how they utilize these events and the gathering of people and energy to these events to perform their rituals to their false demon gods in order to succeed in their plots and plans. But God is saying he is going to throw down Big Brother He's going to throw down their plans. And will this be where Russia steps in? Is it time for Kim Clement's words to come to pass and for parts of Daniel 7, 21 through 28 to come to pass? This is what Kim Clement said. He said, China will endeavor to come and rise up against America and Israel with the pact that they wish to make with Iran. But there shall be betrayal from Russia that shall make them angry. They shall withdraw for there shall be another time and a time and a half a time and again a time that will be given to the saints of the Most High. A judgment shall be made by the supreme justice in favor of the saints of the Most High God. They will not only receive but possess the kingdom of Almighty God. A great and mighty army is being raised up. Salvation will come. Deliverance will come. Restoration will come. Restitution will come. Then God told me the end of last year that he was decreeing and moving forward with Zechariah 1 prophecy, the throwdown of the horns 
on February 11th of 2024. That's today. And because of this, because today the Lord is decreeing in the realm of the spirit, he is decreeing and now moving forward uh, further with his plans to throw down the horns. And because of this, we would see why it will not be like 1984 yet. So we will see why the one world order will not go forth yet, just yet. Will, and will Biden pass away? Will Biden pass away, bringing a shock and shaking to the nation so people will repent and the corruption be further exposed? I believe this is what the Lord is showing me, that Biden is about to pass away and it's going to shock the nation, but it's going to be a prophetic confirmation of what the Lord is doing and fulfilling uh, Zechariah 1 prophecy. And also bringing the nation to its knees, to repentance. And that with Biden's passing, that the corruption will further be exposed. The corruption from the shadow government um, controlling this man um, will be further exposed. So pray concerning all these things. And... Um, take these things to the Lord, pray about them. We see in part, I can only tell you what the Lord has shown me and what I believe the Lord is showing me. Some things are more, um, I'm more confident about than others because of the way that God has communicated them to me. But this morning, the Lord was speaking to me concerning Biden. So take those things to the Lord and pray concerning all these things. And remember what the Lord said to me yesterday. He sang these lyrics. And if it's bad, don't let it get you down. You can take it. And if it hurts, don't let them see you cry. You can make it. The nation is about to be in a place of mourning and shock. And he wants his people to be prepared for these things to take place, these shocking events to take place so that we can be a comfort to the people and so that we can bring the light of Christ, the love of God and the hope that we have in him and his plans to the people, to our nation as this nation gets shaken by the hand of God. And I am to close with this Isaiah 61 thus saith the Lord the spirit of the sovereign Lord is on me because the Lord has anointed me to proclaim good news to the poor he has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted to proclaim freedom for the captives and release from darkness for the prisoners to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor and the day of vengeance of our God to comfort all who mourn and provide those who grieve in Zion to bestow on them a crown of beauty instead of ashes the oil of joy instead of mourning, and a garment of praise instead of a spirit of despair. They will be called oaks of righteousness, a planting of the Lord for the display of his splendor. They will rebuild the ancient ruins and restore the places long devastated. They will renew the ruined cities that have been devastated for generations. Glory be to God. He's so amazing. He is so amazing and he is so good and he is about to he he is passing today he is passing a judgment in favor of the saints of the most high and he is going to throw down the horns it has been decreed and spoken by the lord praise be to his name please share this word and please, please stay in repentance, stay close to God, stay close to him.